will present for LMCE 2022 Workplace Communication. Uh, our topic is about employment opportunities and requirements for nuclear science graduate. In am Norlena Diki Samudi, A161021, and I will present about the introduction. Okay, for the statement of problems, Malaysian fresh graduates face issue of unemployment and it has become a known fact. As years go by, the number of unemployment among fresh graduates increase. And as stated by the Department of Statistics of Malaysia, the unemployment rates among fresh graduates have increased from 30% in 2013 to 34% in 2016. And the national unemployment rates increased by 3.5%. Out of 14 million Malaysian in the labor market, in 2015 there was 405,000 youths with higher education, and 15.3% were unemployed. Only 53% out of 270,000 graduates in 2015 were employed within six months of graduation, graduating, and and at 2016. The report estimated that there were at least 200,000 unemployed graduates in Malaysia and the number was predicted to rise. Next, uh, for the factors that contribute to unemployment rates among graduates is delay, delaying the hunt for employment and number two, not seizing the right opportunities on time and the last one, the factors that contribute to the employment, unemployment is having entitled attitude. In light for the above situation, our group is carrying out this research to find out what is the situation to overcome the unemployment rates among fresh graduates. Thank you. Hey, good morning. I am Sharon Dorman, matrix number A1661154. And today I'm going to explain what are the objectives. First, to find out the top skills that the recruiters look for from the candidates. Next, to find out some awareness of our prospective workplace situation so that we can start preparing ourselves now to meet the requirements in our future workplace. Lastly, to make recommendations to overcome the rate of unemployment among fresh graduates in Malaysia. We move on to methodology. I'm Jasio Nadijan, A166508. Methodology is separated into four parts. First would be research design. This is a qualitative study using open-ended questions and interview to collect data from one star officer at Malaysian Nuclear Agency, Bani. Second part would be selection of participants. We selected our participants based on two things. First, establishment and second is individuals. Establishment. We selected based on prospective workplaces for nuclear science graduates, manageable distance from UKM Bangi campus, identified through the internet, approach via email for participation in this study. Following that will be individuals, who are selected based on holding job prospective for nuclear science graduates, approached in person for participation in this study. Next will be method of data collection. First is interview. We interviewed officer of participating establishment, Mr. Momeside. Questions covered employment opportunities for nuclear science students, job description and requirements in order to work at Malaysian Nuclear Agency. The questions were already given in advance and the interview session was already recorded and then later transcribed. Second is questionnaire. Questions covered employment opportunities for nuclear science students, job description and requirements in order to work at Malaysian Nuclear Agency as well and the questions were given in advance. Final part will be method of data analysis. It was a qualitative analysis where points were picked out from interview transcript and later summarized. The question responses were tabulated and also summarized. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kavindriya Asogan, metric numbers A166552. Let's move on to the scope. The company that agreed to participate in our research is Malaysian Nuclear Agency and this uh, agency is located at Bangi Slamo. Their services include uh, nuclear science and technology for knowledge uh, generation, wealth creation and 
national well-being and to enhance organizational uh, excellence through planning and quality management. Next, um, the company officer who offered to the interview was Mr. Mohammad Sidek bin Otman and he is the director of the Radiation Safety and Health Department and our interview session with him was on 3rd December 2018. Then this, uh, let's move on to the questionnaire. Um, so far we got 10 respondents of various nuclear science profession. Six of the respondents are employees of the participating company which is Malaysian Nuclear Agency and the other four are nuclear science programs lecturers in the National University of Malaysia. The questionnaire distributed to six respondents at Malaysian Nuclear Agency on 3rd December 2018 and the questionnaire for the other four respondents at a nuclear agency program was distributed on 10 December 2018. Hi, my name is Revati Suresh. My metric number is A166169. So moving on to the findings of our interview. Um, employment opportunities are of a research officer, scientific officer, regulators, medical physicist, lecturer, teacher, and also safety and health officer. Other than that, job specification requirements and challenges that employ employees uh, overcome is research development, technical and technical service and training, chemistry, biology, medical, agriculture, mathematics, geology, IT, and communication. So, uh, what are the recruitment process? Which is um, resume preparation, uh, register with SPA Department of uh, Labor. Other than that, re register with uh, Jobs Malaysia, um, interview session in the company that applied. Lastly, involve in NGO, any NGO and community work. So, what are the advices for employees? Which is firstly, advice for job search. Um, don't rely solely on job search websites. Um, apply for several companies, um, read at items such as job advertisements and newspaper articles that may help you. Other than that, um, advice for job application, register with SPA Department of Labor. Um, some of the, it is the basic um, fundamental step to, for job application. Register uh, with Job Malaysia. Thirdly, advice for job interview. First impression is the most in important during the interview, as the interviewee said. Um, talk with the con with the level of confidence a high. Um, prepare a good resume that is presentable and nicely typed. Has good command of English. Fourth is advice for student preparation now. Prepare resume. Put your effort on learning language such as um. Other than that, the language that you learn in the school, that um, maybe you can try out of a third language. Um, involve in any NGO and community work. Practice English. English is fundamental. So from our questionnaire, what are the employment prospects um, for post of nuclear science graduates? It is varies from scientific technical manager to professional post, including research officer, scientific officer, regulators. Medical physicist, lecturer, teacher, safety and health officer. What are the specification requirements and challenges? Nuclear planning and monitoring requires planning and monitoring in nuclear security. Other than that, research and resource of inventory requires research. Um, so, uh, CGPA of 3.5 and above is the Educational qualification to be to apply the job. Moving on to difficulties in getting a job. Um, employees um, <coughs> face the difficulty difficulty of uh, cannot speak English well, not enough confidence during interview, no courage to try new things or give opinions, not following the address code, lack of preparation, has poor resume. An adjustment to the job. What are the things employees have to do when they get a job? Be confident. Follow the desk code. Speak clearly. Do not mumble when you speak. Find ways to promote yourself. Be prepared and give honest answers without faking. Okay.
hence in conclusion, when it comes to employment opportunities, especially for post for nuclear science graduates, there are a variety of scientific, technical, managerial and professional posts including research officer, scientific officer, regulators, medical physicist, lecturer, teacher, safety and health officer, and various posts in the industry like manufacturing oil and gas. Uh, and there are about 10 and 42 posts upcoming for the availability of posts and vacancies depends on the current needs. Fresh graduates are acceptable for the post listed. However, those with experience welcome more as this reflects seriousness in the job offer. For new employees, they are given manuals, but on the job training also are given, which will help understand the manuals. For employment requirement, based on their academic performance, employees should obtain a CGPA of 3.5 and above. They should acquire knowledge in information technology, and when it comes to soft skills, they should ensure that their communication skill is very good as they might perform international relations and it is crucial to develop critical thinking skills and they should be able to think outside the box when giving normal tasks. Besides personal qualities, uh, they should know how to deal with stress when they are working with, they, when they have a heavy workload and doing projects in limited time. And comes to attitude, they should be willing to do things beyond the job scope and they must not easily give up. Patience seems very important. For the last part, uh, we will present about the recommendations and the first one, students should indulge themselves more in industrial visits and second one, actively participate in the international conference related to the course because uh, experiences in international conference will give extra marks in the resume. Analyze the most suitable option and choose the correct path according to our own in interest and not uh, follow uh, what other people said. And the fourth one is be open-minded and be prepared while applying for jobs. The last one, uh, explore more to gain more knowledge and experiences. Thank you. Uh, let's move on to the individual reflection. The most meaningful lesson I learned from this project. First, my prospect of employment after graduation is uh, career prospects for nuclear science considered to be good because uh, the job uh, the job scope is still wide with variety of scientific, technical, managerial, and industrial posts. Second is my readiness for the employment market. Put extra effort on early preparation, like conduct extensive research on organization and industry to understand the company's working nature and how they operate as well. Then the next is what I will do to prepare myself for employment. First, I will enhance myself with a negotiating skill as it is beneficial with both internal and external discussion to pitch ideas. Second is to improve myself. Um, Inter uh, interpersonal skills as it uh, uh, encompasses one's persona and ability to get along with others and persuade others listen to our ideas. And lastly, always concerned with new invention and development in nuclear related science and technology. Thank you. Here is my individual reflection. The most meaningful lesson I learned from this project is my prospect of employment after graduation. From this study, I learned that there is a wide um, scope of employment after graduating as a bachelor's of degree of nuclear science graduate. Um, there, there are many works opportunities such as medical industries and uh, also administration jobs. So moving on to my readiness for employment market. Self-confidence is the most important thing. So um, self-confidence is important for facing the employment market. I am confident enough to encounter the employment market. What will I do to prepare myself for employment? So, um, what will I do is improve my soft skills, speak good English, and improve critical thinking. These are, the, I think these are the most um, in, 
important things to be trained during uh, the employment. Thank you. There are a few meaningful lessons I learned from this project. First will be my prospect of employment after graduation. As a growing scope of study, nuclear science has a very wide range of career options in various fields such as health sciences, sustainability and development, food industries and many more. Following that will be my readiness for the employment market. Open-mindedness is very important. Instead of looking for jobs that are only related to the degree, I think I will have to be optimistic and more willing to take up any related career opportunity because there are more to discover in the field of nuclear physics than just reactor mechanism. Finally, what I will do to prepare myself for employment. First, I will have to improve soft skills and problem-solving skills. Following that will be enhancing fast learning abilities and keep gaining new experiences and extra knowledge regarding the job. In my prospects of employment after graduation for individual reflection, I came to know that nuclear science is found in a variety of career fields such as healthcare, research, energy and nuclear power. The most prominent careers in this field include nuclear engineer, nuclear physicist and nuclear medicine technology. My readiness for the employment market, I will make sure that I am prepared both physically and mentally, this can be achieved by staying inquisitive and willing to learn where I need to stay on top of current trends and changes relevant to my profession. In short, keeping my eyes open for new trends that will allow me to acquire skills or knowledge gaps is crucial. What will I do to prepare myself for employment? Improve my persuasive skills keep my resume updated, continue my education. Before the individual reflection, the most meaningful lesson I learned from this project is uh, being a new graduate can be an exciting time. One chapter of life which is after graduating is a happy moment for us, but another chapter is opening. But in many ways, finding post-work in a job itself is very difficult for fresh graduates. Which is why I will present my prospect of employment after graduation. Nuclear science is crucial to understand our universe, our world and also ourselves at the atomic level. If we can understand how atoms come together interact and can be best combined with other atoms, then new and more efficient materials and medicine can be developed. For the second one, my readiness for the employment market, look beyond our degree, which is we should not just think about nuclear science instead. We can look about net, uh, in medical physics, in medical, medical parts. And the second one, do our research about our, our jobs in various fields such as industrial field, medical field, and also in nuclear science itself. Last one is to practice our interview skills by, by, by doing the research about the tips to score in interview. And the last one, what I will do to prepare myself for employment is write our resume and have it critiqued by a pro. The second one, meet with key people. And the last one, look for companies in our own field. That is all for me. Thank you.